What is Transaction Control Language in SQL? Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from Nohav Academy. In this video, I am going to guide you what are the commands we have under TCL in SQL Server, what are the examples for each command that we have under TCL with the syntax. So if I make you understand it in a very easy way, in the name itself, we have transaction control language. So what all the transactions you are happening, you are doing under this particular uh, SQL server, what are the queries that you are writing, you should have a control over it. Okay. So what kind of control is it required? Okay. What are the commands that we have under TCL that I'm going to guide it to you here. So for this, let me show you a table that we have created in our previous videos. So a training table that we have created. So in this we have training ID, training name and training fee. So now under TCL, as I have told you in my previous videos that there are commit and rollback transactions. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so before doing some or before writing some query, I am beginning my transaction, okay, where I have to write the word begin transaction. So begin transaction also comes under TCL. So under this begin transaction, I am writing one query by using a DML command, which is insert. Okay, so let me show it to you insert. I have only one value in my training table. Now I am inserting another value insert into what I am inserting. I am inserting some value in which table in training table. What I am inserting values. So training ID is 102 comma. Let me take the training name as Python comma. Let me take the training fee as 30,000. I'll close the parenthesis. Now what I am trying to do. I have one already one existing table training in that I have only one record. I have only 101 as my training record. Now I am inserting another record in it. I am inserting another value in it. Then what I am writing? I am writing the word commit. What does commit is doing? Commit is saving my transaction permanently. Okay. So commit is the keyword. Commit is a command that we use in order to save the transactions permanently. So what I'm trying to do, I'm executing it now. If I execute it, you see that one row is successfully affected. And if I show you my execution is successful. Now, if I show you the table 102 Python is inserted in my particular table and which is saved permanently. So now what I have to do, you are thinking that you have done something wrong or you want to get back or you are, let us consider that nothing is wrong and you want to get back to your original table. You have to roll back you know, you have to come back, which is undo in the, in the how we do undo in our Microsoft word and excel and powerpoint in the same way we use this uh, undo for in sql server we call it as a rollback so for this rollback what i have to do i have to again begin the transaction and i have to roll back it okay so if i roll back it it is telling that the query is executed successfully now if we see the table we still have the 102 record we did not go back our previous table we did not commit we did not see our previous table the record that we have inserted 102 it is still there though we have done rollback it is still coming why is it coming when we are doing undo then the record the row 102 should be removed and we have to show come back to our original table where earlier before inserting this value 102 we had only 101 uh, record in it only one record in it which was 101 with with the training id 101 with the training names the sql server and training fee 15000 but though if we have inserted it and even when we have returned the rollback transaction when we are trying to undo we did not get the original table sir you told that when you use rollback transaction it means that you know we can get back the record we can see our previous table we can see our previous value but there is no change happening here why what is the reason the reason is that you have told to sql 
that you are saving it permanently when you are saving the transaction permanently tell me how can you come back it is saved permanently you cannot roll back once it is saved you cannot roll back something once it is saved permanently though you take insert though you take update though you take delete though you take these dml operations that i am talking about though you give commit or though you don't give commit you know these are auto commit operations in sql you know we call it as an auto commit operation so what is this auto commit is nothing but you know by system will save it permanently all right so it is a implicit auto commit what i am talking about which um, system saves permanently it is a implicit type of operation now we have to convert it into the explicit explicit type of operation we need to convert it into explicit transaction so what should we do so what i am doing i'll just uh, delete this record delete from training table where training id equal to 102 i'll just remove it okay one row affected if you see it here oh no it is sql server that is the only one thing that we have it got removed okay so now what i'm trying to do i'll remove this all okay I am taking, I am selecting and showing you the whole table training again. Okay, we have these two. Now, what I am trying to do, I am beginning my transaction. So, here let me I insert another value. Insert into table name is training. What I am inserting, I am inserting the values. I will insert another record 103, comma. Let me take the training name as Java, comma. Let me take 15,000. Okay, okay, let me close the parenthesis. So now what's happening if I execute it one row affected as you can see that the Java is record is successfully executed. Now what I am trying to do again I am writing the begin transaction and I am trying to roll back when I try to roll back commands completed successfully and if you see the training table we don't have the Java record we have only 101 and 102. So when I had tried to insert the training table 103, it came at when I tried to roll back it 103 got back. Okay, I did not do anything. I had undo it and I did roll back. So the point here is whenever you are making sure that you are converting your implicit type of transaction into explicit type of transaction, you need to be uh, may you need to make sure that you are writing the proper transaction cause whenever you are writing it you have to use begin transaction in order to start the transaction okay when you did not mention it so if you see here okay if you see here i have written begin transaction and i have written insert and i did not write commit and when i tried to roll back it got rolled back all right so in the same way if you want to you know save it you know you can write save transaction with a transaction name and you can save this transaction successfully so this is how the commands under TCL will work you know begin transaction commit roll back save point and you know, save transaction all this comes into the picture so thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for IT knowledge we are always here to navigate you to the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning